Hello and welcome to Crystal Craftswood Day. I just received this in the mail this morning. I have been waiting for this one for some time. I got this, uh, it's a diamond dots. I got it from dotsdirect.com.au. Normally these guys only take about seven days to get here, but due to lockdowns and that sort of thing, it, it took um, a bit longer, which is fine, but I've just been so excited. I've had all my projects sort of finished and I've been waiting for this because as soon as I open this guy up I'm going to get started on it and it is a large diamond painting so I kind of just want to concentrate on this one so I've been sort of looking out my window every morning you know is it coming is it coming and uh, it finally got here so this guy here diamond dots it is the dragon flame it is an advanced I'm a painting and I believe it is a full drill but I'll just double check that in a second so I have been wanting to order this for quite some time but I just kept telling myself no 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 I don't need it I don't need it but I did need it and I did buy it so I've got it Woohoo! so anyway you've got your lovely box here it's nice and sturdy it shows you the design on the front which I really really like and I'll show you down here, diamond dots. So you've got on the side there, it shows you your design area and it shows you design size. So your size is 91 by 60 centimeters. So it's nice and big. And your fabric size is 99 by 68 centimeters. So it's a fair size, this one. So that's why I had everything prepared so that I can just work and focus on this particular diamond painting on your other side uh, that's your diamond area so it is definitely a full drill and it's got 38 colors and it tells you there's over 67,000 drills in there so that's kind of cool so without further ado I'll get stuck into this but I did want to show you what also came with this particular diamond painting so when you order from Dots Direct, he always places a free pair of scissors in your package. He has a couple of companies as well as um, the diamond painting one. So he sells lamps and light pads and he also sells uh, scissors. <laughs> Duh. So he sells scissors as well. So he always ch uh, chucks in pair of scissors which I absolutely love and they're really really good quality scissors and I just noticed actually I don't know if you can see that but it's got on the case these little flowers on there that is so cute it's got a nice little case there and that's for cutting your little um, drill packets and all that sort of thing so these are really really good quality scissors and then as I was opening it up this was in there so that's pretty cool so that's a little tape measure that is so adorable oh my god that's so cute I wonder if I can get into it so that's really unexpected I didn't didn't think that was going to be in there oh I can't get into it there we go that is adorable Oh my god it's his ear oh my oh my goodness you pull his ear out <laughs> oh my god that's so cute that is cuteness overload that's really handy actually because I I do all my different crafts as well and I'm always measuring my crochet squares and measuring uh, my knitting squares and that sort of thing too so I'm I'm needing a little um, tape measure because I use you know those really big ones you get from the hardware store and they're quite bulky that's really cute so you pull out his ear to measure and you've got your little button on the back to pull that back in oh my god that is so adorable all right so I'll pop them over there all right back to our unboxing so I have already cut the seals there they come sealed and I'm just gonna open her up whoops 
So I've had to actually do this unboxing on my kitchen table. So I had to clear it off because I knew this was going to be a big one and it won't fit on my desk. So it took me about 20 minutes to actually clear off my table because it's pretty much a dumping ground. Oh. oh, that is a lot of drills. Okay, so you've got one canvas and you have your drills. So we'll have a look at the canvas. So your canvas comes in a clear dust cover. Turn that off. And then we've got our beautiful, beautiful canvas. So I'm just going to actually pull that out because I want to get this little guy out first. So in every Diamond Dots kit you get, you get um, color instructions with pictures and it's in various languages as well. But we want to have a look at this. I don't even know which way's up. Oh, here we go. All right, so she's a bit rolled. I'll flatten her out in a minute. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is just awesome. Wowee. So I'm going to actually revol uh, revolve. <laughs> I'm going to roll it back. It is poured glue so I can roll it back and hopefully that will get it to sit a bit flat. Oh my god, that's so big. I think I'll have to work on it on the table because it's just not going to sit on my easel. Alright, so I'm just rolling this out so it can sit a little bit flatter. That's huge. There, so I cannot possibly get that whole thing in the camera. I do apologize, but if my tripod goes up any higher, I won't be able to see what I'm doing. But anyway, that is definitely a full drill. I just absolutely love it. And I wasn't going to get it because it's big and after doing the blue peacock, which was quite cumbersome but extremely gorgeous and fun to do, but it was just a cumbersome sort of size, I thought no more big ones, I'm just going to go for the smaller ones and then I got an even bigger one. But I just, I absolutely love this, I love the design and everything and being diamond dots you know it's going to come out beautiful. So. That is sensational. Oh my. That is just gorgeous. So I'll just do a bit of a sticky test on the corner. I know it's going to be fine. And I'm also just checking over the canvas to make sure that the glue and all that looks okay. So far so good. So anyway, we'll zoom in and have a little bit of a closer look at that drill field. So in we go. And that's probably not going to focus. But anyway, the drill field is beautiful and clear. As always with Diamond Dots, my favoriteest diamond painting company. I love their drills and their canvas. It's just a real, it's a real joy actually to work on their diamond paintings. So I'm going to try and bring you over to the symbol key without the whole thing falling off. There we go. So there's your symbol key, nice and clear symbols, nice and big so you can read them. There's nothing worse than having a symbol key that's so darn tiny and you can't see it. Um, your uh, diamond dots, you've got your symbol, you've got their number on there. So if 
you want to order any separately with their freestyle you can actually order their drills separately you've got the color coding there so that's beautiful oh my I just I love the colors too that is just awesome so I'll bring you over the other side a bit and then we'll have a look at those drills so I'm not concerned about that um, bend there not concerned at all I'm going to take the plastic off with great difficulty and put it back on with great difficulty and um, I'm going to just sort of spread it out so that it'll um, give the canvas a bit of a chance to relax and flatten out it won't need to be put under books or anything like that it'll be fine so that's looking really good okay so I'll zoom you back out again huh okay beautiful all right I'll flip her over and we'll have a look at those drills so again I'm not concerned about any of that that'll all um, stretch out and be fine so this is your packet that you get this has your toolkit and your drills in it and it has their code on it and dragon flame and let me get rid of that god that's a lot of drills oh so you have your drills and you have your toolkit so your toolkit all right so you've got a tray you've got your wax I only use diamond dots wax I love the little containers they're in and I'm just the wax works for me so that's all I use you've got two squishy comfort grips in here and you have two pens and you have some resealable bags so they're just single placer drill pens and the drills so on your drills you will see that they have their number that's their product number and the numeric order that they're in the so 2021 etc etc so I'm just gonna have a quick look at these guys uh, diamond dots drills they're really good quality they are nice and uniform and they've just got beautiful beautiful shine so got lots of background colors there try and get that light in there because you can see a little bit of that sparkle already the colors are beautiful got some creams and some pink just don't know if that's focusing my apologies if it's not focusing some greens Maybe if I do that there we go reds and greens more blues some sort of mustardy colors This is a nice variation of colors. Still going. Pinks, purples. Ooh, that's nice purple. Browns and grays. Pretty blue. And this last lot, this is looking super duper interesting. So you've got some interesting colors. So you've got green, there's a mint green, some brown, you've got some cream, and you've got some beautiful metallic gold. So I haven't had that color before. So that's kind of cool. And then you've got AB, so you've got your white AB, which is going to be really, really nice. 
get two packs of those, so that's going to add some extra sparkle to your diamond thing. Especially the gold, that's pretty cool. Cool. So, I will flip her back over again. So, that is my Dragon Flame. So, this particular video, I will have your unboxing, and I will go through to works in progress right through to the review and the finished product and um, show you how I went with this one. So I'm super duper excited to get started on this one. As I said, I've got everything set up. I've got my containers ready to kit this up and I have my desk cleared off and I've got everything ready and raring to go. So I'm hoping this won't take me too long and we can get this out so you can have a look and see how this turned out. But I reckon this one's gonna be super gorgeous. I've even got a frame for it. By my calculations it should fit so um and i know exactly where i'm going to put it so i need to get started on it first so there you go dragon flame diamond dots from dotsdirect.com.au he's got a fantastic website and he's got a lot of products on there and he's a really really good company to deal with so i highly highly recommend him so anyway let's see how this one turns out i'll be showing you all the pictures and all that sort of bits and pieces so, um, yeah, let's get started. to do but um, oh my goodness it is just it is absolutely stunning uh, the camera just doesn't do it justice it's just incredible and the it's just so sparkly and of course it's not going to show up on camera too well but anyway maybe when we zoom in you'll be able to see it so this is as high as I can get my tripod so I didn't get all of it in the shot but anyway at least you can see most of it but the colors and the drills and like wow oh i think it absolutely turned out brilliant absolutely brilliant i'm so happy with that so i've been working on this for a little while um but really it didn't take that long because you had some confetti confetti but you also had um, some larger areas so it didn't take quite so long to do but anyway oh boy I love every single thing about this diamond painting so I will zoom you in so you can have a bit of a closer look so in we go so these bits here where you've got the gold where, where am I here I am um, so these gold bits they just look absolutely fantastic. So you've got sort of that um, gold um, drills and you've got the metallic gold drills and it just, it looks so amazing. I'll just bring you down here. So you've got, I love the, um, the shading and the definition in this dragon. It's just extraordinary. Like, look at that, that's just fabulous. And the bright pinks and the beautiful purples and the blues and oh love it there you can see a little bit of that shine hang on no it's not working anyway so it just turned out absolutely fabulous i love this so much and you just have some really interesting colors going on there i love the orb i don't know if that's an orb 
or a moon. Either way, it looks pretty and it's all, almost all ABs. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see a little bit of that shine actually. Is it going to go? Yeah, anyway. And I love this bit down the corner. They just got the beautiful pinks from the lotus flowers. So pretty. We'll bring her back over here and we'll have a look at those drills. So I'll zoom you back out again. Out we go. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love it. So I will flip this over without wiping the camera out. Because it's actually a very heavy canvas. And I did, I worked on this mostly on the kitchen table and I worked flat. I didn't bother using my easel because it was just too cumbersome to put on there, but it worked really well flat. So that was really good. So I kitted them up using these guys. Um, very staticky, but that, you know, you get that with diamond dots. Um, the leftover drills, so typical, they give you plenty. Some of them you sort of got a little bit low on. Um, whereas, here we go. So this one, I actually thought I was going to run out. It's this beautiful light pink color, um, but you didn't need a lot, so... You know, it's no big deal. So you can see, I've just got heaps. Heaps left over. Sorry, I'm trying to keep you in the camera because it's it's up so high, it's like right under my nose and I can hardly see. So beautiful, beautiful colors. Love it. And this gold, oy, oy, oy. It's so pretty. So it's sort of white backed. And you got that beautiful metallic gold and it just sparkles. It's just dazzling. And there's stacks of those. Whoops, they're everywhere. So heaps left over there. Same with these guys. You have heaps left over. Um, they're just gorgeous colors. Check out the static on that one. Oh, yoy. And I've tried the dryer sheets and everything. It didn't work with these guys. For this project but anyway so look there's ample left over pretty happy with that this one there wasn't heaps but you know there's plenty to do it and um, I'll show you how the um, the reject drills because there actually was quite a few so I want to do a big project like this and not all the drills fit in the containers. I just put them in these little um, Ziploc bags and I label them and I put them in a tray. I usually have about two or three diamond paintings at least going at one time and I was losing all little bags that are getting mixed up. So I've just got these little trays that cost me a couple bucks and they've just made my life so much easier. But you can see like there's more of the leftover drills. So these two colors of the dragon, I worked them straight out of the bag because there were so many. I just put them straight in the Ziploc bag and just worked from there. But you can see there's heaps, heaps and heaps left over. Heaps and heaps. No problems at all. So the reject drills. So that's quite a few. For a diamond dot, that's, that's quite a few. It is a big project, so you are going to get some. But 99% of those reject drills were the concave drills. So they weren't flat on the back. Some of them were the opposite. They were too rounded on the bottom. Um, but most of them were the concave and really thin. Um, so I couldn't use them. But... As far as the the shape of them and everything, they were all perfect. It was just that they were concave and um, yeah, I couldn't use them. So yeah, there's a few there, but it is a big diamond painting. They did give me heaps of drills, so really I'm not phased. So that's those guys. So I will flip him back over again. Absolutely dazzling. I absolutely just love this. So. I 
am not going to seal this particular one. Um, it will be behind glass immediately. And because it's being sort of compressed in between the glass and the back, uh, it's not going to be a problem. Because it is so large, it is very heavy. So what I do in that case is, is I take that backing board and I put quite a few bits of um, double-sided tape on it and stick it to that and that way it stops it from sagging in your frame. Um, that's just kind of what I do. So that'll be going in a frame. Oh, one thing I did want to point out too, the frame that I have, I measured it and then I measured it again and then I measured it again just to double check um, because this is a bit too big for my frame. And what I did was I made my picture smaller. So the drilling area I made smaller. So um, I will zoom you in and I'll show you how I did it. So in we go. And if I can try and get it in the corner without dumping it on the floor. Have I got it there? Have I got it? Yeah. So I don't know if you can see, but on that edging there, I have not put any diamonds along there. Uh, I think I went, yeah, two in. So I did not do two rows there. I went straight to the edge on the bottom here. But I went in two rows on this side, in two rows on the other side, and up the tippy top. I went, is it two rows? Yeah, so... I went in two rows on the top as well. I couldn't do it evenly on those edges, the long edges, because um, the actual design wasn't exactly in the center, and I'll show you why. I'll just zoom you out. So looking at the bottom there, his claw goes right to the edge. So there's only two drills under that white bit of his claw. Have I got you on screen? I have. Um, so I didn't want to take any more off from the bottom. So I just took it all off the top because you've got quite a bit of room up the top there to play around with. So I've just made my design smaller and with a bit of luck, I measured it correctly and it will fit spot on in the frame. We'll see. So. I won't seal this and I won't put any borders around it because I don't need it and it's going to go in an existing frame that I have and I'll show you a picture of it that um, in the corner there um, it is my diamond dots uh, irises and I'm going to take that out and I'm going to put this one in its place so um, I'll swap these those over and um, yeah it'll look absolutely magnificent up on the wall. So there you go. I am all finished my dragon flame. I'm so excited. It is like bedazzling. It's so sparkly and shiny. It's going to look awesome up on the wall. Um, so yeah. So thank you so much for watching my video and I will catch you next time. Bye.